Hi, welcome back to Project Brewpeg, the story of a sun controller being converted into a global research and expedition boat. Today we're back on the stabilizers and as you can see, some sliders are attached to the side of the boat. <laughs> it's next episode. This episode, Dame's got to build them and the guys start getting sorted on the hardware for the deck. Can you have a look at that bottom, the bottom of it? You see, it needs to go in but it's pulled out. Yeah. You remember a couple of episodes ago the guys got the doublers on the side for strengthening for the wings. After they finished that they went and picked up the bent metal for the sliders. So we just got the sliders. You have a look along the length of these. You can see that there's a bit of a bit of a bend going on in them. So it sort of does this this one on this side here does a bit of a curve like that. And then this one here does the opposite curve, goes that way. So when we put them together we're going to have to sort of take that curve out. It's not something that we can do anything about. That's just what happens when you start pressing this. Sometimes it bends, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but when we weld them together, basically in that sort of orientation there, we're going to have to just straighten them out and um, yeah, use some of the bollocks and the roof as support to keep them straight. So it's a bit of a windy morning this morning. We're going to, down here in the workshop, we are working on our uh, slider arms. So my plan this morning is to figure out how to get these together. Maybe make some sort of jig, because I've got a few of these to do. Um, but yeah, get them nice and straight and tacked together so that we can start fitting them onto the side of the boat. One of the challenges we have is we have to take out the bend that's inherent in these um, pressed up pieces of steel. So when the press pushes down and bends these, sometimes steel bends a bit funny. You don't necessarily get it perfectly straight. They measure, they measure perfect, but they're not necessarily straight along the length. So we have to figure out how to get rid of that as part of our jig. I think I need some wood. I need to make something 41 millimeters wide. So I can quite literally clamp these either side and know that it's going to be right. I think we're going to make some adjustments to which way I'm standing, upwind or downwind. Give that a shot. It worked! So, my simple little jig worked. Basically what I've done is clamped a piece of 41 millimeter uh, wood. I was gonna call it steel, but it's kind of soft steel. Um, yeah, I've clamped a, and flammable steel, clamped a piece of 41 millimeter hardwood steel in there. Um, and the plan is basically, you can sort of see all the way along, there's a bit of a wobble going right down the end there. It's a wee bit hard to, yeah, just get that perfect on the press, but we can weld that out. So on this side, you can see that uh, we'll need to tap them so that they line up spot on but that's basically close enough and we've got a little bit of a gap. So we'll put a tack at this end just here and then work our way down all the way along to make sure it's straight and lovely. And then as we, as we work ourselves along this way, we'll make sure that we're keeping that 41 millimeter gap right the way along. And the 41 mil is critical because we've got a 32 mil pin and we've got two four and a half millimeter pieces of plastic either side. I've also decided I'm going to put a bit of plastic on the very inside edge. So if you imagine the C, it's on the bottom part of the C. So that was something that Jess um, was looking at the other day. She said, why don't we just do it? It's so cheap. Let's just not risk it. Go and throw some plastic in there. And we're never going to have metal touching that back edge of the slider as well. So um, we've got, we haven't made allowance for that when we bent it up, but we've got plenty of room. We've got um, probably a good 10 mil that we can work with there. So we'll just use another strip of the four and a half millimeter um, high density polyethylene in there. And that way we've got a fully encapsulated pin.
So that worked out all right. I'm really happy with that. It's pretty parallel. It's probably a little bit of twist that we need to deal with there, but mostly we can easily clamp that out and then weld it up. So I think we'll just roll with that. That system worked pretty well. Don't have to build much and I can just press on and get them done. So that one's ready to basically weld up properly. It's sort of tacked together. I've got the rest of them sitting in the truck here. So I'll start pulling those out and weld them up. I only need to get two built today. I'll probably do all of them, but I only need to get two built today so we can start moving on with the deck hardware. I like to spend big on my G-clamps. I think this one was six, possibly seven dollars. It's starting to stretch in that direction there and also sideways that way. It's um, going a bit left field. Obviously the end of it fell off many moons ago. But this is um, what happens when they get a little bit beyond that stage, they get to this stage, which is where they snap completely. So I started to obviously weld it. You can sort of see the angle, it's not even square. It's awesome. I started to weld it and it just started to basically melt on me. The welder's not even set that hot, it's probably about 60% maximum capacity. And uh, yeah, garbage. So what happens when you buy cheap clamps and they're made out of cornflakes. And with that, we're out of wire, so uh, I'm gonna go and have lunch, change the wire, and we'll finish this off, and then we can get stuck into the boat side of it. Hello, my lovely. What are you working on? Um, I am. I just um, I really liked Vanessa, uh, Vanessa, Jessica V's idea of um. What's that? You know the the top of the the swing. The top of the swing, yes. Yeah. Um. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, you know, strong enough. You know, the world's fine yep. and everything. But she suggested putting a plate on. Oh, I saw that. I thought it was a great idea too. Yeah. So I've said I'm going to do it because yeah, I, I really just do like that. it. I think just the extra security yeah, yeah. is great. Next time I got, I got the stainless wire out today when we're doing the um, uh, the pads on the side of the deck. So I'll just go and buzz the chair at the same time. Great. And I'm going to put this little guy in. That wall you can see down there is the wall right down the <laughs> centre line of the room. So I've got the walls and everything that we've put funny. in previously, and we've got stuff stacked up everywhere because we need some space. So we've piled them <laughs> in the corner. Going for it. <laughs> All right. Just wondering where to put her. I'm going to make some lunch and uh, carry on. All right. I'm just a scratching and feeding post. I've said it many times, I know. I will change my ways, I know it's for sure. When all the crows decide to leave, they settle down beneath my feet. Righto. Can we get an arm on there? Oh, yeah, that's right. Turn the boat up that way. Unless we turn the boat up the other way. We can turn the boat. You can turn the boat around, can we? Yeah. Uh, right, I'll climb up and we'll heave it up onto the deck, I guess. Go with that for now. 
it's the same length as the other one. Remember, we've got to trim it off because this hasn't had the the bit weld on it. But we're going to slice it off anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's what I said. This this might be too high still. Yeah, we're better off measure from the deck down to here than from the ground to the wing, aren't we? That's true. All right, let's do that. Yep. I'll climb up. Pin or to the end of the wing? Um, I was thinking going that the trailing edge, um, inside that trailing edge there, if yeah. you swap, swap over, so then yeah. you'll be able to get that Good end in there. Okay, good there? Yeah. Uh, so I've got two, oh, bloody inches, two nine ten. Let's go to the other side. Two nine fifteen. 5mm out. For a guesstimate, it's pretty good. Yep. So now that we've got the arms in place, we've got the sliders built. We've got three of four sliders built right now. We're going to start putting them together, see if we can get them fit up onto the boat there, and um, yeah, all positioned up and our geometry figured out. So now that we've got the top of the arm sitting where it needs to on the doubler, we now know where we can position these, these little guys here. So they'll be mounted somewhere like somewhere like that, roughly, somewhere. We just have to figure out how we're going to do it. That one on that side over there, like so. And that's going to be the bolting position. So we'll cut this off level across here. So it'll be somewhere in this area here, sliced straight across that way in line with these tops of these. And then the 20 mil plate will go down on top of that. So they have a 30 mil hole on either side, or 32 mil hole, bit of clearance. And then it'll come straight down on top of that. The sliders are going to sit either side of these stainless plates. So, yeah, we'll get into it, we'll figure out where we're going to mount these stainless pads, start some welding. The guys got well on to the, the sliders, um, so I'll show you that in the next episode. But I, I have a list that I just wanted to read out to you what we're working on at the moment in the background to give you some idea. There's a few people who are kind of complaining about how long the sliders are taking, and, and I really appreciate that, it's taking too long for me as well. But I just want to let you know why. So, this, I'm just going to read the list, okay? So finishing so this is what we're working on finishing building the rooms downstairs for accommodation for new crewmates welding the last of the sliders building the arm locking hardware that's for both sides sanding and painting the wings they need a couple of more coats finishing lifting the lifting chair for me um, interviewing and organizing our first permanent crew ever that's quite a bit of organizing um, getting me 500 kilometers south for an appointment with a specialist this week uh, 40 hours a week day job for dame so he's fitting in 40 hours every week as well um, we're organizing batteries because they've died <laughs> so we need batteries uh, we're picking up an anchor that was donated by a lovely viewer um, and uh, i'm editing two videos a week uh, we're building a new bed for me in the upstairs room uh, because I need a new mattress because I can't handle the one I've been sleeping on because my pain nibbles are going up um, and we're converting the old bedroom into an office that's so taking quite a bit of work um, we're organizing a service for the welder there's not enough gas volume um, it needs a service but it's not working properly so we've got to get that in and all the little bits as well so please bear with us we'll get there thanks for watching guys you got ice like summer sky If it's my good kill I die And now it starts to rain So let's enjoy it I can't